Ah, okay. So, so I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm just going to use this as an actual. Is it even in tune? Okay, so you're messing around on a guitar and you want to do like a, do some beats or something. So I want to get over to the studio now. Can I? Would it record and do OBS at the same time? Let's see. This may fail horrendously. Right, let's record into the playlist. Audio. Mm hmm. Oh. Right. So, this will hopefully work in the edit. Uh, I'm going to be using my trusty uh, Zoom H1 handy recorder. Right, okay, so I'm going to do a quick sample with a drum beat of some sort. That will do. Right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Apple Studio now. Oh. Oh. I think I was recording for that time. Right. Okay. Just the B drive. So that should be my recording, if I'm lucky. Don't want forward. If you don't have any other programs for editing stuff or slicing things, FL Studio does come with, like, uh, a recently featured audio editing thing called Edison. So I might just do that. Oh, that's what we got here. Let's play that. Okay, that's just me bashing the guitar. Uh, let's see if I can actually find a repeating beat. That looks like it repeats. There, uh, that'll do. And what I want to do is then try and control A. Okay, that works. So, I want to save this as a new file. So now what we can do, if I go ahead and open up a... I'm just going to do a new... A new uh, yes. So if we add in an instance of FPC, Fruity... Fruity... Let's do a metal kit. Oh, quarantine here. So I've loaded my metal kit, my heavy metal kit, my drum kit, um, and I can do some stuff. So if you don't have a MIDI device, you know, a drum kit or a keyboard or something, you typically be making your grooves on the piano roll like this. The rhythm I did on the guitar and recorded on my Zoom. I'm going to drag that in because I, uh, yes, this is where the sample comes in. So I want to use this to then compose a beat. Right now it's not conforming to the uh, tempo of the project. You can get the tempo one of two ways. In this instance, I can just look at how it's aligned to the grid. I know when I trimmed it that I didn't leave much space before the, the attack of the first hit, so I can just take the slider up here and uh, with a bit of. There you go. Close enough. That's interesting. As it happens, it's fairly consistent. Which is. Is it? Anyway, so you can use these hits, these, uh, these waveforms, as a template to place your um, MIDI hits or whatever uh, and that should then conform to whatever you're playing uh, the other way you can guess tempo or uh, get a tempo from a sample is if I bring this in again just on this so if I do, if I bring this in as a sample on the main timeline, I can go right click and then say detect tempo. So I found it roughly to be around 128, so I'll do the 100 to 200 and see what it comes up with.
Yeah. <laughs> One twenty eight seven nine eight. Okay. All right. So close enough. So that was my original beat. It's not too bad. So if I put the pattern on top. So yeah, I mean it, it kind of works, you get the picture, so if you're, if you have ADD like me and constantly tapping your fingers and thinking, oh that beat, that beat sounds good, you could sample it on whatever you wanted to do and then bring it into FL Studio later and then that groove you could pick up and then turn it into an actual proper drum beat with a proper drum, like so. This sounds exactly like 